endorsement of Harris and and Waltz um, right after. She has 283 million followers on Instagram. And I'm sure that someone brought to your attention that she signed it, childless cat lady. This is a phrase that you are going to hear in your in your uh, dreams and your nightmares probably for many years to come. How do you speak to women voters um, who obviously they uh, they care about what she thinks. Well, look, we we admire Taylor Swift's music, but I don't think most Americans, whether they like her music or fans of hers or not, are going to be influenced by a billionaire celebrity who I think is fundamentally disconnected from the interests uh, and, and, and the problems of most Americans. Look, breaking news. J.D. Vance kneels before his overlord as Taylor Swift continues to do what she does best. Annoy fragile egos. You heard it right. J.D. Vance, the tech bro turned senator has done it again. After securing his status as the most loyal follower of a certain cult leader, who we all know moonlights as a New York real estate celebrity with a heart colder than the ice cubes in a billionaire's martini, Vance has decided to come for none other than Taylor Swift. Yes, because attacking a pop icon is clearly how one wins the relatable American contest. Spoiler, he's losing. Now, I almost said Trump has an ounce of the empathy, sympathy, and compassion Taylor Swift shows to her millions of fans. But let's be real. That's like comparing a rock to a puppy. It doesn't compute. Donnie, in true form, hasn't exhibited human emotion since, well, ever. So it's hilarious, yet predictable, that J.D. Vance, ever the loyal servant, is bending the knee to defend this empathy-free zone of a man while wagging his finger at Taylor Swift. Why? Because apparently in 2024, standing up for human decency is offensive to some. Which makes you wonder, is this actually just plain old misogyny? Oh, but wait, there's more. The circus isn't over because right on cue, conservative commentator and self-proclaimed master of bad takes, Dave Rubin, chimed in. Rubin, whose commentary often hovers around mind-numbingly dumb, felt the need to also weigh in on Swift's endorsement, presumably to uphold his title of chief captain of wrong opinions. Oh, and if that wasn't enough cringe for one week, Elon Musk, yes, that guy, dropped a weird, gross comment about Taylor Swift, too. Apparently, Swift's endorsement of the vice president hit a little too close to home for him. The nerve. Prepare yourself, because when Rubin and Musk combine forces, the result is maximum stupidity, a cringe overload, and a level of grossness that we didn't think was humanly possible. But hey, at least Taylor Swift is out there living her best life while these guys keep proving her point. They just can't handle her. And then let's talk a little bit about how this fits into the the pop culture part of this because pop culture is a huge driver of the cultural narrative. Um, Well, here's the tweet from Colin Rugg about the Taylor Swift thing and we'll get back to it in a second. So as we referenced before, Taylor Swift endorses Kamala Harris on Instagram after the debate on ABC proudly calls herself a childish cat lady. Uh, Elon Musk, who they hate, uh, he saw that and he wrote this. Fine, Taylor, you win. I will give you a child and guard your cats with my life. So he's he's mocking, he's exposing the ridiculousness, right? It's like, Taylor Swift, you are a young, pretty girl. Do you know what the gang members from Venezuela do to young, pretty girl? Dave Rubin, in a moment of pure hold my drink energy, decided to one-up Elon Musk's already bizarre and wildly inappropriate comment about Taylor Swift. Musk, in what can only be described as a cringeworthy attempt at flirting, implied that he'd happily be the one to help Swift have a baby, because apparently that's what she's secretly been after this whole time. Gross, right? Enter Ruben, who somehow managed to make the whole situation even nastier with his own commentary. It's like a competition of who can be more unhinged? And let's be honest, MAGA Republicans seem to be playing this game on expert mode. These strange, obsessive reactions to Taylor Swift's endorsement say a lot more about their own insecurities than anything else. But hey, at least we now know their preferred strategy for handling political disagreements? Weird, gross comments. Bravo, gentlemen.